Oh, hello everyone and welcome to <coughs> a new episode of Let's Play Forge. Last couple of times we've been uh, continuously and ruthlessly absolutely decimated by our AI opponents. I'm still not giving up. I still desperately want to beat one of the AIs. The next challenge will be unlocked when in 8 more wins, so this might take some time though. This time again, uh, we will be playing against uh, Picard. A uh, reference to Star Trek r right there. Now, um, do we have the necessary um, mana to summon anything at this point? We do not. Let's mulligan. This is a bad starting hand. This one's fine. More or less, anyway. Let's remove Blinding Fog from our deck. And let's keep this hand. So we're going first. Picard placed a Mox Sapphire down, which is an artifact that uh, when tapped it would add uh, a blue mana to his mana pool. So it's effectively a blue land, that one. And now uh, he summoned a Safehold Elite, which is, an elf scout, which is a 2 slash 2 elf scout, which has Persist. Which means that when this creature is put into a graveyard from play, if it had a no minus one minus one counters on it, return it to play under its owner's control with a minus one minus one counter on it. That's fucking annoying. And a bit unfair, but uh, you know, who, who am I to judge? Now he put down, like he's got some nice uh, land cards over there. Now he's attacking me with his uh, safe hold elite. And now he's summoning a, a, a Gaia's Skyfolk, which is a 2 slash 2 elf merfolk creature with flying. That's even fucking worse. I don't like this one bit. Let's summon an elite cat warrior to see if we can deal with him. Like we can, we, even with uh, our elite cat warrior, we, we won't be able to block his Gaia's uh, Skyfolk because that has flying, and our elite cat warrior does doesn't have neither flying nor reach. But uh, hopefully, I will be able to block at least his Sea Hold Elite. So yeah, he's attacking me with Gaia's Skyfolk, and there's nothing I can do about it. Now he's summoning a Sylvan Messenger, which is a 2 slash 2 elf creature which has Trample, which means that this creature can deal excess combat damage to defending player or planeswalker while attacking. And it also has the effect of when Sylvan Messenger enters the battlefield, reveal the top 4 cards of your library. Put all elf cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So he has... He has a lot, he has uh, three elf cards and a land card at the top of his library. So he will put the three elf cards uh, in his hand and the land at the bottom of his library. Okay, this is quite annoying. We do not, we don't get to do much, sadly. Hopefully this will be rectified at some point. He summons a Wilt Leaf Liege, which is a 4 slash 4 Elf Knight creature, which has the effects of other green creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1, other white creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1, and if a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard Wilt Leaf Liege, put it onto the battlefield instead of putting it into your graveyard. Interesting. So he's attacking me with uh, pretty much everything that he has because now see uh, safe hold the elite uh, has the plus one plus one from wilt leaf liege it would be able to destroy my elite cat warrior if i were to block him with my elite cat warrior and uh, the same thing is with uh, sylvan uh, messenger this really sucks, man. Like, I cannot do anything to defend myself. And I'm at the... Like, I'm accumulating mana far too fucking slowly. This is just not working out for me. Let's summon an initiate companion, but we... I'm pretty sure this game is already over. We do not have the means necessary to defend ourselves with. He summons uh, an Imper Imperious Perfect, which is a 2 slash 2 wa elf warrior creature, which has uh, the effects of other elf creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. God fucking damn it. 
And for tapping this and paying one green mana, create a one slash one uh, green elf warrior creature token. And now he's just attacking me with everything he has. Now I really have to block him because otherwise I will just die. In fact, I think I will die regardless. Yeah, I just died. God damn it. Like, my... The rate at which I was getting mana was so fucking slowly. There was nothing I could have done about that. That really fucking sucked. I don't know what I could have done better about that, honestly. He casts another Mox Sapphire to summon a Coiling Oracle. Look how fast he summons. In his first turn, he's already summoning. Coiling Oracle is a 1 slash 1 snake elf druid creature which has the effect of when Coiling Oracle enters the battlefield, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put that card into your hand. So he drew a Wilt Leaf Liege, which means that that's in his hand right now. So he might summon it next turn. He, now he summons an Imperious Perfect, which is a 2 slash 2 elf warrior creature, which has the effect of other elf creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. And for tapping it and paying 1 green mana, create a 1 slash 1 green elf warrior creature token. So now he's attacking me with his Coiling Oracle. He deal damage to me. And yeah, I can't do anything just yet, so this sucks. Now he summons a Wilt Leaf Liege. He has a lot of strength. God damn it. Wait, I could have summoned Prowling Serpent Part. I didn't even notice that. Well, whatever. Let's summon Prowling Serpent Part right now. So now that we have at least one creature in our side of the field, he's still attacking me though. Like the bitch that he is. Wait, why he, does his we, Wilt Leaf Liege have 7 slash 7? It should have been a 4 plus 4, a 4 slash 4 creature, right? I guess... Uh, I guess what's happening... So... Ah, oh, I see now. So it's normally 4 slash 4. Wilt Leaf Liege is usually a 4 slash 4 creature, but because of uh, Imperious Perfect's uh, effect to add the plus 1 plus 1 to all of his other elf creatures, it grew to 5 slash 5 instead of 4 slash 4. Then due to his other uh, Wilt Leaf Liege, he got... Uh, one slash one, he got a, a different one slash one just from that because it's a green creature, but uh, that would have only raised it to six slash six. I still don't know the, where, where the last one slash one is from. I don't think he has anything else to uh, bump up its creatures. Maybe because Wilt Leaf Liege is both a green and a white creature, it gets both plus one plus one for green creatures and the plus one plus one for white creatures from Wilt Leaf Liege. So it's a, to a total of two plus two just from that creature. I don't fucking know. Wow, I already died. Are you kidding me? Well, that didn't work out at all. I don't fucking know, man. Like, this just... This world is too difficult. I don't think I can handle it. Let's go to somewhere else. I would have wanted... I, I like, like I said, I would have really wanted to enjoy my time in a different... Uh, in this world and uh, do a little bit better for myself. But I'm really getting my ass beaten. Let's go to a random modern. I don't know what that means. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get in touch with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join. Details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, see you next time.